Welcome to today's video. I'm Pam with RPPC Inc. Today we're going to look at how do you set up a garnishment in QuickBooks. So to start off with, you're going to set this up on your payroll item list. So here under list, payroll item list, and you can either do the control N or go down here to payroll item and select new. I like to use the custom setup. So you're going to select that. We're going to do it as a deduction. I give it a personal name. So I'm going to say Dan Child Support Garnishment. I'm going to select next, the agency that it's paid to. And of course, you would set it up with all of the address, all of that information. But for this video, I'm just going to do a quick ad. The liability account number here that it is asking for, that's going to be your case number, your file number, however it is referred to on the notice that you get from them. I tend to like to put their first name, last name on that information as well as their account number. So you're going to pick whatever that account number is here. I like to set up sub-account of my payroll liabilities. So that way it's all separate. I don't like to put it under just payroll liability. I like them to have sub-accounts. So here I'm going to put child, Dan's child support sub-account of payroll liabilities. It's going to have tax tracking of none. It's not going to be based on quantity. It's going to be net pay. And the amount we'll just say is $100. It says now I can schedule it, so I will show you how to do that. So you can see here that I have Dan Child Support Garnishment. First thing I want to do is I want to set it up on the employee. So that way I don't have to remember each time that it is just there. So here, I'm going to select Dan. I'm going to double click so that I can edit. Click on the Payroll Info tab. And I'm going to pick Dan Child Support Garnishment and select OK. You're going to continue to do that Child Support Garnishment until you get a notice that they no longer need to have it withheld. To set up the schedule, so you make sure that you remit it in a timely manner. Go to your payroll center. Ensure that you are clicked on pay liabilities. Down here at the bottom, you're going to select to manage payment method. And this is where you can go in and set up anytime you do a withholding to be able to schedule that it has a set payment and it will give you a reminder. So I'm going to select benefit and other payments. Select next. For Dan child support, it says no regular payments. So I'm going to edit that. In here, I put the account number, but again, it would show your number that you put in there. So unless you do payroll monthly, I would do the payment frequency of weekly. So that would cover weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly. And that way, on the weeks you don't have payroll, no big deal. It's just not going to show as a liability. But on the weeks that you do it will then show that a payroll liability is due that next Monday so that you are remitting it in a timely manner. So pick weekly, then we're gonna save it and close out of that. Now going forward, when you look at your employees, the payroll center and pay liabilities, as you do withholdings, those withholdings will be shown here. So it's a reminder that you want to go ahead and get those paid. I hope this video has been helpful to you on how to set up a garnishment. 
If you have questions or you need help, please feel free to reach out to me. Make sure you check out our other videos as well. Have a great day.